Water plays a very important role in the lives of organisms. Movement of water is described as osmosis. So in this lesson we're going to look at the exact role that osmosis plays in living organisms, starting with plants. One role of osmosis in plant is the absorption of water from the soil by roots. The only point of entry of water into the plant body is through the roots in most plants. And this comes about mainly through the root hair cells. The root hair cells have a projection known as the root hair that provides a large surface area over which this does take place. So in the soil, water moves from the soil solution, which is hypotonic, and into the root hair cells by this process of osmosis. So in this way, plants are able to absorb water from the soil and get it into their body. Remember, the root hair cells have solutes in the subvacuole that raise osmotic pressure such that the osmotic pressure of the root hair cells is higher than that of the surrounding soil solution. This is what facilitates the absorption of water from the soil solution into the root hair cells. The second role of osmosis in plant is in the movement of water from one cell to another. Once water gets into one cell by osmosis, it dilutes the subvacuole and the cytoplasm of that cell. So that cell becomes hypotonic relative to the adjacent cell. This facilitates movement of water from that cell into the next one by osmosis. The next cell becomes hypotonic in relation to the next cell and the process goes on and on from one cell to another and in this way water can move from one part of the plant to another part. For example from the root epidermis into the cortical cells and all the way into the center of the root. Third role of osmosis in plants is support. Now, movement of water in the plant cells make them to be firm and rigid. The cells become firm and rigid when they become turgid. The turgid cells then provide support in the leaves and stems, especially of herbaceous plants. These are non woody plants that do not have strengthening woody material, so they rely on the turgidity of the cells for support. And this turgidity comes about as a result of the inflow of water into the cells by the process of osmosis. Fourth role is in certain types of plants. These are the insectivorous plants. These plants grow in soils that are deficient in nutrients, especially nitrogen. So these plants must obtain the nutrients from another source apart from the soil and they do so by trapping insects on their leaves, digesting them and absorbing the nutrients. This trapping comes about through sudden loss of water from the cells in the leaves by osmosis leading to the closure. Now remember one function of the turgidity of the cells provide support to keep the leaves open. Now, with the sudden loss of water, that support is withdrawn 
and the leaves shut in the process trapping the insects within. These insects are then digested and the products and the nutrients absorbed into the plant. Another role of osmosis is in the opening and closing of stomata. When water moves into the gut cells, by osmosis, the gut cells become turgid. And when they become turgid, so this is a process, when they become turgid, the gut cells bulge outward, thereby opening the stoma. So when these gut cells are flaccid, the stoma is closed because the two gut cells are closed together, they lie side by side. But as they absorb water through osmosis, the gut cells become turgid and they tend to bulge outward because the inner lining has a thicker cell wall compared to the outer lining. So it's much easier for the cells to bulge outward, away from one another, and in the process they create the stoma between them. So it is through osmosis that the opening of the stoma takes place, and also it is through osmosis when these turgid guard cells lose water, they become flaccid and come to lie close to one another, thereby closing the stoma. So opening and closing of the stoma depends on osmosis. Opening comes about when the guard cells gain what and become turgid. And closure comes about when the guard cells lose water to the surrounding epidermal cells, when they lose water and they become flaccid, lying side by side. And in, in that state, they narrow or close the gap between them and the stoma is said to be closed. So that is a uh, those are the roles that osmosis plays in plants. When it comes to animals, there are two main roles that osmosis plays. The first one is absorption of water in the large intestines. In particular, the colon part of the large intestines is structured so as to enhance absorption of water from the lumen and into the surrounding blood capillaries. The second role is reabsorption of water in the kidney tubules. Most of the water that is filtered out of the blood is reabsorbed by osmosis into the surrounding blood capillaries. In this way, water is conserved in the body and not lost from the body through the urine. So the reabsorption process that takes place in the kidney tubules is by osmosis, just like also the absorption process that takes place in the large intestines also comes about through osmosis.